Good evening all. How the devil are you? Welcome back to the workshop. I nearly put the heater on I did because it was getting cold outside today when I was working outside but I changed my mind. Anyway, welcome. Hope you're all well. Thank you very much for all coming over us and joining us on our Friday Night Live. Turning with friends apparently. So let's bring the guys in. Here they are. Did, did you just say turning with friends? Friends. Is there somebody else coming in? Or acquaintances, whatever you want to, however you want to call it. Hello, everybody. I'm still here anyway. You know the rules. You? <laughs> so, Hello, anyway, Steve. welcome, everybody. Thank you, Brian and Terry, for joining me, as always. Yeah. A pleasure. Uh, I'll let you know later. Yeah. But anyway. It is, a, it is our pleasure, maybe. It's our pleasure. <laughs> so, before we start, just quickly, I've pinned the GoFundMe link at the top for the Makers Auction, as you saw on the right. thumbnail at the beginning. Makers Auction is in two weeks, so not much time to grab your raffle tickets if you want to grab them. So if you'd like to get your rough tickets, go to the GoFundMe and sort that out. Um, obviously, as always, make a donation for the raffle tickets and then email me or message me uh, if you can't find the comments in the GoFundMe to tell me what tickets you require. If I don't get a notification from you when I receive your GoFundMe funds, I will contact you to ask. So, uh, yeah, if you'd like to know more about the GoFundMe or about the Makers Auction, I will quickly chuck in the link for the promotion video just to let people know, obviously, uh, what happens, how it's going to work, this, that, and the other. Uh, what am I going for? That one there. Because it's getting very close. We've only got a couple of weeks, and then we are going to be um, pushing it out. So I want to be going to that one there. And don't forget, everybody, to uh, start transferring your savings over now into the account <laughs> that you can just drift it out to the auction. Click, click. Yeah. <laughs> Trickle feed it. All right. So this is the link for the video. What tells you more about the maker's auction. I explain in the video what's going to happen, how it works. And also all the lot pieces are in there and the, the raffle prizes. We have had some more pieces donated for the auction, but I'm going to tell you more about those the week before the auction and uh, hopefully keep the, ex the suspense going. But anyway, that's what that's about. Let's go on for tonight. So on the lathe, I have a piece of birch. No, beech even. Uh, what do we say? Seven, seven, about seven and a half inches by two inches. Just going to do a basic shape, and then I'm going to do some texturing and then some colouring on it. But I want some random shapes on it. I don't want just the uniform stuff. So that's what we're going to do. So while I go over and get ready for that, I think Terry's going to welcome everybody in. I got it. Yeah, go for it, Terry. Whisper, whispering Terry Bray. Whispering Terry Bray. Well, thank you so much, everybody, for joining us this evening on Stevens Live this Friday night. First in, as, as usual, Paul Findlay seems to be getting there quite often. In first, then there was uh, Shane Hurst, uh, followed by Norman Greenwell, Mike Yu. Where's all the wood butcher? Why in the wood turners there? Generous Craft and Creations, followed by Malcolm Douglas. Twisted Pete of the Trees is in. Mike Evans, Door 60. Rob from Clingspore Abrasives. Andy the Valley Wood Turner. Wood and Burl is there. Uh, Barry from Creations, James Crawford. Rex B. Yeah, there's a Wood and Burl. That's fine. I don't know. Who is it? Could we have a name, please? Can we have a name, Wood and Burl? Can we have a name? Can we have a name? Can we have a name? Are you just okay? Uh, Why? I'm Much just stubby. writing some things down so I don't miss the ones I was going to miss. Um, yes. So, <coughs> pardon me. <coughs> there we were. Uh, Twitter P, Mike Evans, Door 60, Andy, Rob from Clingsport, Andy Valley, Wooden Burrow, Barry's Wood Creations, James Crawford. I'll take it you can all hear me because we were worried about that. James Crawford. Rex B, Susie the Swiss Wood Turner, Todd at Glencoe Woodworks, Roy the Boy, Delroy's in, Bob and Copperell Wood Turning, Hodge of the Podge is in, the Cheeky Toe Rag, seen some of the things you've been doing up, hello Robert, Philip Moss is there, Graham Brown's in with us tonight, Colin at Turned Links, Charlie at CED Wood Turning, uh, Brian El Tanero de Madeira is in. Christina Michael Hasatan are there. Richard the Beard 16 has joined us. Ben Jamming. And Andy Intermediate is there. 
followed by Wavy Woodshed and Rob the Professor. Scanning down the list, I think that is it almost. And um, click the last look. Yeah, so there you are. <coughs> oh, Steve, Steve Hale's there as well. So those have joined us. Uh, good time. Don't forget. Wood and, question wood and marks bottle. before. You're writing this down, Terry. Wood and Bottle is Haley. 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 Haley, baby. Haley. 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 Right out of my notebook. Hello, Amy. Welcome, everybody. Thank you, everybody, for coming over on this. Don't wet, you go. Don't you go stalking her, Brian. Wet and I windy. Don't stalk anybody, Terry. Wet and windy night. Oh, is it wet and windy where you are? Oh, oh me. It's absolutely been inside. chucking it down all day. That makes yeah, a change. Did I see a question from Rex? Rex B. You did. Rex question is: Who is the auctioneer? Me. Who would you like the auctioneer to be, Rex? Well, he he suggested uh, um, um, Nicky. Nicky will the be boss, here. Nick will be he here. He actually said the boss, Nicky. <laughs> um, but in my experience, Nicky has always been the administrator in the background. She is. That's Bad. exactly what she's going to do. Is it? He's exactly it. Nick, what happens is when everything's have auctioned off, uh, Nick then contacts the buyer, deals with the seller, and goes between the two and sorts it all out. She's the one who uh, keeps everything running in the background. I'm just the, I wouldn't say the pretty face at the front of the show, but I'm just the one who's doing all the, all, all the shouting and screaming at the front. Safely say you're the face at the front of the show. She, she, yeah. Mm. That would be quite safe to say the face. Baz, real simple things is with us. Hi, Baz. Hello, Baz. How are you doing, Baz? Robert, not sure Robert. if you're burning Baz, he said. Robert Botwood, then. Hello, Robert. Robert. Oh, guys, have you got any good questions? Well, we've got any questions, really interesting ones, at least. Oh, which, which one? Wait, wait. Question yeah, marks. What the answer is a question. Which one of you is the wet and who is the windy? Well, that's Steve's got both of them. Guys. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> wet behind the ears. <laughs> Alan Gibbs there. Yeah, he's had curry this evening, so windy. Wet behind the ears and I'm windy because I move so quick. <laughs> Apparently, there's a slight distortion on your mic, Steve, according to Roy the boy. Oh, well, that's, Roy. Years, that's Roy. That's Roy. I'm, sure, I'm sure that's Roy because he's, he's, it's always Roy who moans about he's video got, he's got, he, and he's audio. Had, yeah, he's, had, he's had a few beers, that's what it is. Market turned again, Crafts is in. No, that's Roy. He's just... Uh, it was one, then. Oh, Roy, did you send that certificate and that medal to Wayne, by the way? Certificate and a medal? A medal? Yeah. Wayne, Wayne won a medal. Yeah, Wayne, Wayne won... Medal. Wayne won um, Advance for his bud vase at the club the other night. Oh, oh, oh yeah, did, did he? Oh, good man. <laughs> <laughs> I, 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 I get it now, yeah. <laughs> was, it, was this the advisory <laughs> award? Yeah. I did say to uh, Roy that he needs to send the, the, the award to, to Wayne. <laughs> Roy the boy said, Steve, sounds like you're in a bucket. No, that's definitely your headphones, Roy. Uh, someone's saying <laughs> external mic on. There's no external mics on. No, that isn't. We could all coming through to us, okay? Well, well, Rex did. Rex has said it is an echo, Steve. So well, just Rex says an echo. Rex probably right. But Rock went just Roy, but you know. I will double check. It's coming to us, okay? David Vaughan is with us tonight as well. Hello, David. I've said that. We're punching the buttons. We just said that, Terry. Yeah. Well, I got that. Are you, are you not Let listening you again? No, don't listen to you. Oh, I've never listened listen to you either. So. Why are you doing that? <laughs> Boy, what's this wooden ball, Benjamin? I've been visiting Wales. I've visited Wales a fair, fair few times, but I'm Suffolk born and bred. <laughs> there you go. Wooden ball's from uh, your latest from Suffolk. Oh, no. Lost the AKA the upper class end of Norfolk. Suffolk, the upper class end of Norfolk. I thought Suffolk was down past Norfolk. I don't know where they have the web feet, no? Yeah. That's right. Like eight toes they got on each foot. Probably the boy says he's always right, Steve. You should pay attention. They breathe through their ears. Does sound very robotic, Steve, says Baz. Real simple things. Mm. He's check Steve's checking. Oh, that's, that's Nicky's microphone, wasn't it? He's, his other one's not working properly. So it could be that, you know. Is 
So what have we been doing then for the last uh, day? Nothing. Did you go to the workshop today, Brian? No, I wasn't in the workshop today. I was up at the yard this morning, did a whole lot of clearing up and tidying up and trying to get ready for the winter. Um, and then came home and did very little. Had a rest full day. Yeah. I'm no, I'm not child. isolating, Andy. I'm I'm free. Right, is COVID free. Is that any better? Wait, is this that to any us better? anyway? We can hear perfectly. I can hear you. Is that any better? Sing, Steve. No, don't do that. <laughs> right, what am I looking for? That. That's what I'm looking for. Uh -huh. Right. I'm going to put a small mortise in here because I'm going to use the SC2 chuck, I think. Which is what size? That's a good question. Because I haven't got an SC2, but I've seen them. And they're quite natty to have a little well, small chuck. Is. Colin says it sounds better. It sounds better to him. So good, good. That's good, Dan. All I did was turn the headset off and turn it back on. Yeah. Back to sounding like your usual self, says Robert. Oh, What's God help you. Wayne says that's better. 42 millimetres. 42. Okay. That's quite small. Five, I think. So it's a blank eight inch, was it? Yeah. That's fine. That's right. It'll be fine. I finished that piece for those who are interested. I did on Sunday night. I've took the turning off, sanded it up, polished it up. And oh, I have put my little logo on the bottom of it. It will be available. <laughs> little little in, logo in the auction. <laughs> well, it's a little bit big because I, you know, I'm not getting used to this laser business. I just sort of lined it up with all I'll do, and it for about a three inch logo across the bottom. But the bottom is six inches wide. So. All right, so we're just going to use the part and tool just to put a line in here for our waters. Uh, poor, Rob, poor Rob was in his workshop today. Uh, he says it was not planned, but it was one of these. Dad, can you make this real quick? <laughs> Define quick. You've got an hour. You've got an hour, yeah. <clears throat> I remember those days when the kids were at school. Mm -hmm. I need it before nine o'clock. Hmm. But your, the beard's been cleaning his workshop today, transferring yeah. a lot of rubbish into the new storage extension that he's just built. Good man. He's finished well building. Done. Well done, buddy. <laughs> Gives a little bit extra space in, doesn't it? You get rid of all the rubbish. So I need rubbish in more space. Storage. You've been doing that, Stephen. You've been building whatever's. I've been drawing Robert, two yeah. more, two more draw units. Yeah. Simon at failed coast wood turning has just joined us. Ah, uh, see, Alan Gibb says, uh, Brian, what have you done with my computer? After you mentioned about the red heart, it has appeared on mine now. It appeared yeah. on Terry's yesterday. It, yeah, it's come on mine yesterday. I've never seen it before. So where Pain are you? The, where are, where the are you located, um, Alan? Because I have a theory that. Uh, YouTube send these things out in batches to different servers. Right, a little bit of shape. I mean, the heart's been on mine for, for ages now, for weeks. Yeah, I've had mine. That's been on my computer for eight, absolutely eight. <coughs> what you could do, Brian, is you could jugle it. How to get rid of the R. Somebody will know it. Jugle, jugle it. it. Jugle. Yeah, jugle. Jugle. Jugle as in jugle. 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 And Colin at Link says he's just come off on mine too. Yeah, there'd be a way to get rid of it. Sure. Rich says extension on the side with the door into the main shop. Main Excellent, shop. Rich. Well done. I need an extension on my workshop. I, we do actually, tiny little I need, thing. I need a new workshop. Dancing with the hard boxes in. Alan's in Clayton Manon in Stirling. Hmm. Oh, well, somebody has to live there, Alan. That's not your fault. <laughs> Does everybody like the double camera? Uh, Rob Robo stuff. Steve is back with the camera change. Robot Steve. Robo Steve. Oh, I can't Robots. do it about I can't do it about because... Frederick just... Day's in. Look, Fred. Hey, Frederick. He's got the red heart. Can't get rid of it. Right, that's a challenge for you, all you lot in the chat. Let's get the stage. Computers, 
How do we get rid of that damn red art in the corner? Bottom. Right. If you leave if you leave the chat in, uh, not popped out, it stays right in the bottom right hand corner of where the chat is, and it overwrites the chat if you like. If you pop out the chat and just expand it slightly, it disappears over to the right hand side of your screen. It stays on the right hand corner. So you can still read the chat. That's what I've just done, and that's what I'm doing. <laughs> Split the screen, chat on one side, picture on the other side. Roy says your mic's gone again, Steve. So. Well, I can't do nothing about that. That's going to have to go. No. Martin Ford's in. Turn crazy. <laughs> oh, Martin. The, audio, the audio is fuggered again, says Ben. It's a good, good to me. Fuggered. We can hear it. Oh, no. Alan Gibb is, belongs from Forford, not far from where. Where you was brought up, he says. No, you're right. It's only about five miles away. Four, maybe now. <laughs> Somebody is pressing the heart. Yeah, I can see it bobbing. It's rubbish. Yeah, I don't Pretty know what cool. it does. You just every time you press it, you can press 100% there and it pops up 100% like loads of them. There you go. Or a little, or a little fantasy bubbles. Malcolm Doug just, just said he's put his thumb over it and it disappeared. <laughs> when I put my, my <laughs> hand, the hand on mine over it, I'll get 100, a face, a you do. cone, and a smiley face. Out. You've got to move it away to get the art back in. It's got to be a way to get it. The safari code. Well, as far Wilson's in award. For those who don't know, Stephen is now turning uh, a bow to do some yes, colouring and test texturing and probably colouring. Any questions? Prefix it with a question mark. Please. Prefix it. Uh, Andy Woodward now says, "Are we sure Terry has a heart?" Nope. It's <laughs> <That's> not nice. <laughs> I don't need one of those, Andy. I'm a cold stone. <laughs> Somebody's having good fun pressing the heart. I well, they're all doing it now because they're they, they love me. That's what it is. Oh, I think it's Steve, actually. Certainly not. Certainly not you and me, Terry. Oh, I scared bitch. Nobody, well, nobody loves us, Terry. <laughs> so, Steve is currently using a 3 8 bull gouge, I should imagine. I am. Simon Hope, 3 8 bull gouge. Simon Hope and his Simon Hope Andos. I can't get on with Andos, me. Either. For some reason, they're just too fat. Don't feel right. If you did a thinner version, I'd probably buy them. You're right, Todd. Terry is invincible. <laughs> uh, it's just way mad with a cyclone on the right hand side now. They're way bonkers. Yeah, they're all blink pressing it. Yeah, yeah. Can I get up far enough to see what the cheek Robert Hodgepodge said earlier at the beginning, near the beginning? Right. There's something about you, I think. That was Steve. Oh, about Steve, it's something about Steve, I think. It's a bit cheeky, but... It was, yeah. Lost it wasn't much. Thing. Yeah, it just uh, having a laugh. I just lost it. Yeah. <laughs> no weird sense of humour, you know. Did we say hi to Martin Ford, did we? He did. He did. Well, we did. You didn't. You just... Nah, just... All right, so I'm just going to... Just on, you know. They can absolutely no notice of what Steve or I are doing. Ward Wilson's uh, feet is frozen again. Oh, dear. No, oh, Ward, switch off. Back on again, mate. All right, so I'm just going to sound this up quickly. Reboot it. Ben Jamin sold his heart to Roy for 250 oh. And a half-eaten box of Maltesers. Oh, Ben. Oh. In that case, Ben, I'll write you to give your heart away for free. What little you have of it. <laughs> Andy says the record power handle on their longer bow gauge feels massive. I don't like I do. Yeah, I've got a couple of those in AR. I have to say the most satisfying handle to hold, I think, is the Robert Sorby handle. Yeah, I agree Love with them. that. Some Love like them. They feel brilliant. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Comfortable to use, nice and, you know, to turn and move. Mm-hmm. I'm just going to sand this up to 400 quickly. Don't forget, all go around to stand 99 when you go to Arrogate. Those are going just to beat the hell out of Robert Klingforth being cheeky to me. Yes. <laughs> <is. laughs> I'll be there three days at barracking him and harassing. 
Don't you come here every? Don't come just, here as a rubbish throw, Leslie. Just, 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 just every time we walk past him, we'll just give him some abuse. Will that be Stay saying? away from here. Just throw your empty cups at him. Hi, <laughs> empty cups, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> well, I don't know. Hamlet may not make the best handles in my mind. How much gets in? Okay. And this. Saffron Waldron. Oh, you're down there for the show tomorrow, aren't you? Forgot that. What, what show's tomorrow? Air show. Maybe cancelled, Mike, because it was lashing oh. down today, but I think tomorrow's probably going to be going good. It's supposed to be a good day tomorrow. Well, Winston has dropped, so it should be fine. Yeah. <laughs> Wayne suggests we should all go to stand 99 and get a selfie with Drilly. Selfie with Drilly. Mm. Well, we already go there and talk to Wayne, but, you know, we got you got to, you got to sort of balance it, really. Wayne or oh, Rob. I mean, Wayne is, you know, maybe might draw us in, but Rob, you know, oh, geez, it's getting difficult in here, you know. It'll weigh up the odds. You might go there, but how long can you stay, you know? These hyper celebrities. Mm. Yeah. Todd is asking, how is Joe? And Glenn responds, she's doing okay, Todd. Good. She's good news. Yeah. Uh, Martin Ford says, uh, if you can buy unhandled gauge and make your own handle is the way I go. Uh, well, That's the way I, 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 I kind of do that as well, Martin, but uh, I, I kind of copy the... the uh, Other manufacturers. I, I, I nearly said, I nearly said record power there. I mean... The profile. You've copied the profile. I copied the profile of uh, my favourite tool. Sorby's got a nice handle. Oh, I think it's one of the best handles. I think so. We agree, so... Can't be all wrong. I do. Earworms, you didn't read what Alex and I wrote. Uh, he who starts the stream can turn. He who starts the stream can turn the heart off for everybody. The viewer can't turn it off. How's that then? How did you turn the stream on then, Steve? I can't turn it off up here because I tried to Apparently get rid of it earlier. You can I turn it off for everybody. Oh, uh, could be good. Have a look, Steve. We don't mind waiting. No, I can't. Because if I click energy. on it, it just pops up and does whatever you click on. Yeah, but it might be in a setting somewhere. Turn off the heart, you know. Oh. Old man river. We're turning in. Um, you also get says, are you doing a live on Sunday, Steve? Scott's no. in from Hampton. We're turnings. No, no, I'm not. No, I'm not. Link is I'm going to... The Lincoln Wood Turners uh, Open Day. Oh, He's coming to ours. Yeah, our place. Oh God, that's no live on a Sunday then. Oh. Well, I might do one in the evening if I'm back in time. It's our, it's our annual show, stroke annual wood turning Open Day. Well, Lots of Sunday different crafts Wednesday? there. Lots of different crafts. So anybody near uh, in Lincolnshire around that area that want to come, it's in Lessingham. It's spelled Leasingham, but it's in. They pronounce it Lessingham. And you got a link for the club. And you got a link for the club. Uh, oh, Colin at Turn Links is there. He'll put it in, or he'll tell me it. He'll text me it, or whatever, and put it in, or just put a postcode in, Colin. Archie's in from Bunnyburn. Good man, Archie. Colin will put the postcode in, and that's where the Lessingham Village Hall is, where we'll be having our annual show. Tiny Turner. Emma is there all day demonstrating as, as well. It's only £2 to get in. What? I've got to pay. Yeah. I ain't coming to I've got to pay. Oh, I'll spot you, Steve. Don't worry. Oh, Christ. thanks. It's only, oh, only £2. <laughs> you, 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 you may tell you again. You bring in Nick? Yeah, I'm unfortunately. Uh, when the Woodturner suggests that all Robert Sorby handles are finished with Hampshire sheen wax. That's why I finish my one. When I make them. And if they get a bit tidy, a bit, you know, dirty with your handling, just give them a quick sand and refinish them with Hampshire Sheen Wax. That's why. I Are do. you technical enough, Steve? Colin Turn Link says you can turn off, can turn it off, but you need to use inspect to see the code and then hide the DIV, the div that shows uh, that shows it, but a bit techy. 
I'll tell you what, I'll just leave it. Tacky for me. I'll just leave the ding. I'll, oh, I'll I, know how, it I know how that works. I know how that works. F12. Oh, right. Go into F, uh, you just do F12 and then find the bit of code. Yeah. There's only a million lines, isn't there? I know. But I think if you open it on on, t on two screens and split your screen, if you if you just put the your hover your mouse over the over the little icon thing, it'll actually show you. It'll highlight the code on the on the page. <coughs> I think that's how it works. You coming up, Charlie? When you live down in Norfolk, I anyway, far. Um, Susie is supposed to be on Google says if you're a streamer it can be turned off the setting is called live reactions which is uh, on by default live reactions well, I'll be in YouTube studio they want it I don't know well why is why is why is it there now and it wasn't there like yes oh. you know yeah Terry 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 I got that right that says Colin but what how to how to how to get it off right by going into F twelve. F twelve function mm -hmm. button. Function button F twelve. Well, on. On your on your you, keypad. On YouTube. Don't know what it. No. Well. Well. Yeah. So go on in. So if I press F twelve. Just happens? get ready, Terry's now going to disappear. Yeah. Oh, I'll, no. see you, I'll see you all next Let's week. Make yourself edge dev tools. Development. Hang on. Let me press F twelve first. Where's F twelve anyway? Top right hand corner on your keyboard. Oh yeah, got it. It just goes beep. Ah, uh, but you're are you on the mic? Yeah. I'm still different on the mic. Yeah, I'm different on the mic. I'm still no, in it's... tube with you. It's different on the mic. F twelve. Function, hang on, I didn't press the function button as well. Function F twelve. It's only it, Danny, it's only the streamer who can change it. You just said you've just changed it. Stop. No, I didn't say I just changed it. Oh, sorry, I misread it. You misunderstood it. Right. Martin Ford's coming on Sunday. Well, right, what's, what's Steve doing? Finish sanding now. I finished sanding. Good. Up to what? 400. 400 of the grits. 400. So what I'm going to do is I want to do... What do I want to do? <laughs> ben Jama says... You can also use inspect to view and scroll down to line 133 where it says disable earworms. Set it to true. <laughs> Shut your mouth, you. Yeah, shut up, Ben. So I just want random lines I'm going to texture here. So I'm going to draw them on. Ooh. Wait until I'm probably computer. That daft and Wayne's intermediate there. Are you listening to me? Oh. Wayne says... Oh, no, I never listen to you. I'm hoping to do a live tomorrow if I can get my computer sorted. Oh, what on, Wayne? Some computer ease problems. Well, I may do a live on Sunday now if Steve's not going to appear. Yeah. Well, he won't be over because he won't be. He won't be getting home till. You know, be then, day, won't he? But then you won't be there to hear one either, way. <coughs> no. I'll be up mm. this show. Did you say Paul? Hewitt I mean, all my there? friends tomorrow. See. All right. Okay. You're just a, you know. Yeah, okay. Yeah. Get it, yeah. Understood, Terry. It's fine. Lisa Bundy Rose there. Hello, Ludie Lou. All right, so uh, I'm going to... Can you see that on the camera? Is that what I've just done? Yeah, we can, yeah. Yeah, looks yeah like we a can bit see of a bit. Jigsaw. It looks a bit of spalting. That's all right, that's good. So I'm going to texture that. It's a map. With... Colin call likes your pencil. He says, fancy pencil, Steve. Oh, it's my work pencil. I get fed up and keep sharpening pencils, so. Yeah, that, finger, fingers crossed, Wayne. And uh, she says, will you finish uh, the spalted bars you started on Wednesday? Question mark. Thank you, Andy. Yeah, I've, Wayne normally finishes things in three or four minutes. I don't know what happened there. Then you <laughs> Like, did he lose it in the shavings or something? No, no, no do something else. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe he's in the net broke. Maybe that's what happened. The computer died. <laughs> uh, that's a bit big, that one, actually, I think. Let's try that pair drop one, I think. Would you, whoever's pressing that hard button, would you stop it? Or is it bugging you? Don't yeah, say that, Brian. They'll all do it now. 
Get millions now. Look, there's millions of them. Look. Little fish. I found a way of switching on, Fry. I found a way. I've done it. Just took a bit of masking tape over the over the thing. Ah, that's that's <laughs> a bad thing. That masking tape on the screen. No, dude. All right. So let's get this what textured. But you, you don't pull the pixels out and you pull that off. So I'm yeah, using a so I'm out. using a pair drop bit for this. Yeah. Wayne's computer died on Wednesday night, Terry. Oh, that's not good, Wayne. Sorry yeah. to hear that, mate. But is anybody desperately needing somebody to do a live on Sunday at lunchtime? If so, I might pop in and do something. Cuts all bar. Yep. Flame, I think they call that bar. That one is, is it? Flame oh, yes, it is. Flame. You're correct, it is flame. Alan gives you a thing, Brian, you should never have said that. Oh, no, no, no. Yeah, but it's obvious. It's no big deal, mate. Probably by about one o'clock in the day, I'll be looking for something to do anyway. I'll be bored to tears. What's this? Well, you know. What's this? Which entrepreneur says this is one of the best drawings you've seen, Steve? <laughs> now, those cut saw burrs, they fit that machine exactly, don't they? Because some of them are just like. They do. No, yeah, they're, they're perfect. A quarter they're of perfect. a thousandth of an inch smaller and they slide out. You've got to... no, no, they ones don't. No. These ones fit perfectly. Right. They cut all bars really well made. They're not like cheap Chinese and rubbish. They're not cheap, but I think they're no, worth they're the money. Probably... They are. I've got a couple they, of them for my machine. You know, so. they're, they're well worth it. Uh... I haven't used them yet. Yeah. I mean, I know me, me and Brian bought them at roughly about the same sort of time. And we did, yeah. Mine's had a lot of abuse, and I'm sure Brian's had as well, so mm -hmm. they're still going strong. <laughs> ben Java says, Wayne, computers need a lot of ventilation. Have you tried putting it above the four foot of shavings? <laughs> above the above the flood water? <laughs> above the four foot of shavings. Oh, Ben. <laughs> Right, the boy says, please stop hitting those hearts. Nope. I reckon it's Roy's doing it. You've no, you absolutely no chance now, right? You see, every time you say it, there's a whole flood of them. Like... <laughs> I can feel the love. <laughs> uh, Got no light on, I can't see. What kind, what, what, what kind, of, what, what kind what, of money what kind are they? Money, money are they? Well, money, money's money? a painter. French painter. Um, oh, yeah, but... on, okay. I can't remember. Okay. I don't know. They've just under or just over 20 quid each. I think maybe a bit more than that, Steve. Really? Yeah, maybe 30 now. And Robert Hodgepodge wants to know what system that is you're using. It's the Woodart GJG800. I will show you. Let me turn this off. Fancy one. Currently running at about £500. That's They're what it brilliant. is. So absolutely. It's so quiet. You can't hear us going. We can hear it. All you can hear is... Beautiful. Oh, my light's just run out. It runs at uh, 40,000 revs, 45,000 revs, I think. Top speed. So you can buy... Uh, you can buy cut sole bars um, from an eighth inch shaft uh, from sort of three eighths, quarter inch, half inch, uh, all sorts of shapes and sizes from... As little as twelve pounds on up to a fortune, sixteen pounds. There's a, there's a set. There's a half inch shell four piece kit, with coarse grit, forty three pounds, and there's another one, uh, five piece kit, sixty one pounds. And the ones that Steve and I have got, something like that. You can uh, get the fine kit is forty three pounds. Yeah, if That's you get like that one Steve's using now, that shaped one, 
you can get three different things, you know, fine, medium, and coarse. You can, yeah. And they like, you know, sort of 15 pound each. But they're sell selling them in kits now. You've got four in the kit there, which is the long, narrow, thin one, the round sphere, that flame one, and then a thicker. Um, don't know what you would call that, really. Um, and he's saying, it, is there much difference in the cut the using that versus the Dremel? I think the Dremel is um, the nose, yeah. Noisier and bigger, you know, bulkier. But um, I wouldn't think there's much difference if you control the no Dremel, but they're Absolutely. very easy to control. These are no <laughs> difference in the cut, but these things are much easier to handle. Much, yeah. it's just like with, a, with a Dremel, you have to have a flexi cord, don't you? With these, you actually the actual motor is actually in the body here, and you can see the Sorry. size of it. It's just like holding a pen in your hand. Very, very good. Expensive, but good. There's a, I have the the, the slightly they are less expensive, expensive good, version. Yeah. I have the the slightly less expensive version, which is very good. <sighs> yeah, Robert Clingsford says the same shape Clingsford bar on a three mil shaft. Yeah, three mil. Yep. Yeah, that's that's where you need the collar for. Will be fifteen eighty three. Uh, oh, so I'll be looking for a deal there then, Rob. If I have um, like three well, or four. What, of them. what do you not do eight inch ones, Rob? Do you guys not do the eight inch, which is the one that fits directly into the thing? Yeah, the three mil slides very slightly, don't it? With the three mil, you need a collar with the three mil. You, you, but you can get the collar for that machine. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Tenor. Fancy motor, posh pencil, expensive bars. Steve's me. Steve must be making a fortune on these buddy devices. He <laughs> is, he's loaded. Who said that? <laughs> <laughs> Robert, Robert Hodgepodge, Hodgepodge, wouldn't you know? <laughs> Robert, we're all loaded. I'm, not like I'm you. quite happy. I'm quite happy to try any any parts, but I just we're all loaded. I just know that the cutter ones actually work, and they they they, they have a good bit of longevity in them. And then, of course, we're always influenced by um, the likes of Nick Agar and stuff as well. well. The thing is, yeah, I mean, if other people use it, and then. You know, they give you a demonstration on it, and you see it work, and then you think, well, okay, they might have, might be a bit more expensive, but why bother to buy anything else that you know may not work? I must rest. admit, I struggle with a Dremel because of the cord hanging off of it. It hurts my wrist after a while. Yeah, it's too heavy for me. I, I have a, I have something similar, not a Dremel, but some. But you could go on with that for hours, Steve, can you? Well, you are. I suppose, yeah, right? Well, I do. I mean, I spend maybe four or five hours just doing what Steve's doing. And uh, That's, uh, yeah, you can cope with it all right. Couldn't do it with Ramo. Or any other rotary tool. Rob says he does three millimeter and six millimeter bits. So is that a six millimeter there? No, it's six, six, six miles, quarter inch. 3.175 is an eighth. <coughs> yeah. All right, okay. Got to get a collar for the mid. So it's the minute. same size as what's in my CNC machine. One eighth, 3.175. Yeah, right. They so you, do, get a collar, you can get a collar for them. Because yeah, I have yeah. to use the collar when I use the cup burr bits. And I... <laughs> I think the collar came with the kit that I bought. <laughs> Rob, Robert Hodgepodge yeah. says, you guys are so old, arthritis makes those dremels cumbersome. That's Steve's true. not old. Well. 20 years younger than us. Sounds like it sometimes, doesn't he? <laughs> the Dremel Fortiflex is a good piece of kit. So that's what Wayne uses, Fortiflex. Fortiflex is what? Which is one? Is that the one that hangs up? Got the, they've got the thing coming down in it. You use the wire. Uh, Andy Woodward Lanner says, Brian, you will have to change up the wane speed. What for? If, if, I had, if I had the 40 or 30 years of experience that Wayne's had, I'd probably be as quick as him. <laughs> I have no intention of trying to speed up to much anybody. Steve's not old, said Benjamin. He just looks it. Yeah. All builders are <laughs> old, mate. <laughs> ben yeah, Benjamin says, Hodge, Steve is not rolling money. He's got a six-car carport. <laughs> six-car 
<laughs> and he's already got five cars in it. He's not that rich. Yeah, he's not I've that just sold one, so I've got one less now. Oh, oh sold okay. Again. Well, you got rid of the Land Rover at one of the discoveries, did you? Yeah. One of Good them. Man. Well done, Steve. You've been talking about that for a while. What was that? Yeah. An emotional wrench when it went. Yeah, I did cry. I did, <laughs> give it, did. I did go and give it a final wash before it went. Yeah, give it a, so give it a little money, hug before it drove out of the yard. Perhaps yeah. not. <laughs> That'll be gone. That, that money be gone, so you get arrogant. Do it. I was actually sitting there thinking the other night, what do I need when I go arrogant? There isn't that much I want. Yeah. I was thinking exactly the same thing, Steve. I haven't. There's Stephen Madden's in. Hello, Stephen. Hi, Stephen. Evening. How are you doing, bud? There's yeah, not much that I need, but I'm sure I'll find something that I want. Well, that's what I, that's what I thought, Brian. I thought, well, there's nothing I really need, but I'm sure I'll find something to waste some money on. Yeah, I've, I've got, got plenty of drawer space, so I'm sure I'll find somewhere to put, to put it. Oh, well, you've just made a whole lot more drawers. That's your own fault. <laughs> <laughs> I've got a list. I've got a game. I, I keep thinking I need more drawer space, but then I'll just need things to fill it down there. So I'm just not going to have the drawer space. Good evening, Stephen. Ow. And Martin Ford says, I have a Fordham. Not cheap. Uh, but the thing he likes about it has a foot controller. Well, so does that thing Steve has. Yeah, we got foot controller. And mine, well. I have a foot controller of mine too, but I never used the thing. Just... Uh, Wednesday is going to the Harrogate just for the meetup. Doesn't need to buy anything. I guarantee you buy something. Who's that? Wait, when? Oh, Evening, yeah. Ruby. <laughs> Can't not go to Harrogate. Ruby Claire's in. Something. So, oh, Ruby. Evening, Ruby. Salad, Ruby. Ruby. Hope you're okay, keeping well. Is Dan in? Do we say hello to Des? Is he in? Des is not in yet. Everybody say hello to Des Barmore just in case he comes in. Hello, Des. <laughs> Never know. Yeah, not wanting much won't stop you buying loads, says uh, Andy. The Woodwell now. I don't know. I think they uh, actually mark turn again crafts. I think they do. Uh, yeah, they some quite a Something few of them give a ten percent discount. I believe uh, Robert Klingsport's giving thirty five percent off because uh, he's in the chat. Da -da -da -da. <laughs> <laughs> he's going to get some abuse as well. He's written that up a lot. <clears throat> no, I think uh, yeah, that quite a few do do special on on certain things. You know, they, obviously they can't afford to just give it away because uh, nope. they need to make a living. They're trying to make money, no lose. Plus, they got to cover the cost of the stand they've just had paid for. Uh, what's the name of that machine that uh, Steve has? There's Roy the boy. It's Wood, Wood Arts. Arts. Well, I'll get it for you. It's not actually on the their Lincoln. website. Either. They're actually not on their website, are they? No. Is it not? No, I don't think so. They do the 45,000 one, but not the 50,000 one. Oh, okay. I'll have a look now. Uh, hang on, Colin. Oh, yes, you did. I've just seen them now. Rotary hand pieces and... Uh, nice. That's the one I have. 45k. No, it isn't. Oh, here you go. Right, I'm just going to put the links in for the... Pastest. That's the link to um, the Wood Art Products page for the um, 35k micro drill detailer kit. It's the one that I have. And the one that Terry has, I think, is the 45k micro drill, is it? It is. Same as Steve's. Same as Steve's. Because he saw mine and thought, cool, I've got to get that. So he did. So there's the link for it if you if you're interested, guys. Uh, Four hundred and fifty quid, no, isn't it? Right? Well, yours. Yeah. Well, if it, if that's the case, that yours is definitely not listed because I don't think that's the on 30, the webpage. The thirty-five k one is one hundred ninety quid, <coughs> and the high top forty-five k <coughs> is two hundred ninety. Yeah, I think this is fifty thousand, if I remember rightly. It's definitely not on the page then. I put the. Uh... I have Put to the link it. in there, look, for the uh, Lynx Turners this weekend. Oh, Maybe it's free on Sunday. I'm going to pop up and have a good day. Like I said, Emma's there. It's only £2 to get in. Wander around, chat to everybody. Is Joe in? Did Joe come in? 
She must have done somebody saying welcome back. So hello, Joe. Hello, Joe Senior. Friend. Hi, Joe. Welcome along. Hello, Joe. Sorry, I was typing in. So I down to the I, keyboard, didn't see her. I, I have got to say, guys, that I have the smaller one, the 35k micro drill, micro drill detailer kit. Des Barmer was in, hello, Des. <laughs> he is there. And that comes without, with it, they, come, they all come without any uh, burrs or anything, so you start to buy your burrs on top of that. But uh, mines will do everything Terry does. Yep. Except slower. Except <laughs> it's just, it turns a tiny bit slower. And it's, 190, the, it's 190 pounds, guys, instead of 500. So and I think the only other yeah. difference is they're slightly noisier. Not a great deal, just a little bit yeah. noisier. Yeah. Yeah. Pays your money, you take some chances. Yeah, it's just as good. Well, it ain't just as good, but, you know, do the job. Every bit as good. Does the job just exactly the same. I just uh, decided I was going to have it because I could. So. You're quite right. Des Barnwell is there, Brian, if you missed him. Come in. Hello, Des. He was listening in the background. Oh, hopefully. He was uh -huh. mm -hmm. Lurking in the background, wasn't he? No, I'm not, Robert. You're, um, um, you're over height. You couldn't get in anyway. You wouldn't be getting through the door. Mm. You're nine foot tall, isn't he? Well, everybody is compared to me. But... Oh, steady away. Yeah. If I was just two pound overweight, that would be good to get in. Go around the car park and make it up. Tim's in. Do you have turn in? Hello, Tim. Hi, Tim. Tim. Welcome along, buddy. This right. is a fine, but a fine bit of cloud texturing. Last one. Texturing clouds. Uh, Lucy. That's not an achievement, being a giant to you. Sorry, Lucy. Lucy, everybody's a giant to you. That's exactly what I'm saying, Terry. It's not an achievement to be bigger than Lucy. <laughs> so what's the plan then, Steve, once you've done that? Paint it black? Plan, I'm going to colour this one colour and I'm going to try and do the texture in a different colour. Right. Jim Rubbleski's in. Hello, Jim. Jim, Jim. Jim. Northern, Northern Michigan. Welcome. Oh. Welcome aboard. Rubbleski. Hmm. Where that name originates from? Michigan at the moment. Mm, uh, well, Michigan. Yeah. Northern Michigan. Currently, currently Michigan, yeah. Yeah. <sighs> Welcome along, Jim. Anyway, I don't think we've seen Jim before, have we? Well, I don't recollect the name. Would have uh, recognised it if I'd been in before. I think I may have to. Welcome, Jim. Hope you are well. Sir. I need some. Um, I need some racking for my uh, for the big shed up at my yard. Good night, Wayne. Wayne's got to go, people. See you oh, later, Wayne. Sort some stuff out. See you later, buddy. Thank you Good for calling. Night. Thanks for coming, mate. Talk to you later. Hope you get your computer sorted by tomorrow. Fred Gilder says, I'm also in chaps. You missed me about three months ago. Fred, I read your name out ages ago. <laughs> Fred, you're just not you're paying just, attention. You know, not paying Apparently. attention, Fred. Apparently. But anyway, happy, uh, Welcome. Happy, happy birthday, Fred, when it comes around, okay? Happy birthday again. Fred's in. Fred's in. Is he going to the Des list, is he? No, he won't go. Des list, Des. Well, I don't know. He could, yeah, he could, he could take Des's spot, you know. <laughs> Just so we don't forget. Everybody say hello to Fred. <coughs> oh. 
Oh dear. She says she's the same height as a 12 year old. 12 year old what? Cat? Goat? <laughs> Alex the Wood Butcher says, well, after about 20 minutes of altering the code, I've got rid of the heart. Yes. <laughs> Good man, Warzone. Good man. We can't get rid of it because we can't. Uh... I can move for I it. Just turn it off in the. Fiddling around with mine now. YouTube uh, studio. Disappearing. Where's that inspectly? Uh, I might, Pete. I've got a list. I was going to. I, wanted, yeah, I was thinking yeah. of buying a van as well. I want to buy a van. Some, some small van. Well, I've just seen a T5 I like. Looks like a T5. But oh, T5. What's a T5 Terry on his own? Volkswagen T5 van, beautiful. Yeah. Volkswagen. Transport. Wow. Hey, lovely. Well, the I used to drive them well, the commercially, you know. I used to drive them for like forever. Question for um, uh, question for Steve here. Will Maybe. the colouring follow the texturing? It doesn't matter because I'm going to do the texturing darker. Oh. All will be revealed, Ruby. <sighs> In the fullness of time. Yeah, Rob from Plainsville said, Fred's at school reports equals easily distracted. Lucy says, it's a 12-year-old hobbit, she says. My school reports consistently said, could do better. Jim says, you've got a steady hand there. That's the, uh, he's got, he's, he's got quite a bit of bulk to hold. That's the he's Viagra. Quite a bit that makes, makes your grip stiff. <laughs> it's, the, it's, it's the bulk behind it that's holding it steady. Yeah, it's, the weight, it's the weight leaning against the layer that's <laughs> steady. Because he's, he's a big lad as well, Steve. You know. Height wise, of course. He's not like he's, he's not he's rotund like, around. He's, he's like just twisted tall. Pete. He's like Pete twisted trees. Mm. The only pair of feet got lungs of their own. <laughs> well, do you live in the fence? <laughs> yes, it's just quite wet around here, you know. With the old web defeat. Yeah. Robert Lerner says I should get a camper van with a trailer. I was thinking I think, of that as well, but, you know, storing it. I think, I think a camper it. van is a wonderful idea. I'd love to have a camper van. It's storing it. I said that the race, should I get a camper van? She said, where right. are you going to put it? I'll find a camper van. I'll put it somewhere. don't know. Well, I think. <laughs> Bob of Clingsport said, Brian? Yes. His school report said, it's okay. He doesn't have to come anymore. Yeah. Hmm. My school report said Terry needs to pay more attention. He just said didn't. All right. I wish they'd have sent me a school report so he doesn't have to come anymore. That would have been there. Watch, watch saying, Steve, it would look really good if each one of those little indentations were painted a different colour. <laughs> well, I'll tell you what, Robert, I'll send it to you. How's that? <laughs> Rainbow effect, yeah. Oh, is there, Colin? Oh, I didn't know that. Colin That's says the there is storage just That's around the, the corner effect. of the van. Expect. Hey, you've done it. Right, so click on the thing. I'll just clean my glasses. Click on the thing. Live chat. That's sent me over there. It's there. Find it. Keep uh, deleting the element. L l l all while still watching the listening. Keep deleting the element. That's the element there, yeah, it's because the elements are all clicked. I'm just going to delete it. Right, so let's it. have a look. Let's have a look at colours. I reckon a red mm. for the most of it. God, there's so many of it. I've got spots in front of my eyes now. Don't know them. Get some gloves on, Mike. T5s are our lovely uh, bands, Rob. I used to drive them for oh, 10 years. Oh, <coughs> when I work for a living, my mate's now doing a camper van. I had to go and re I had to go and wire it up for him the other night. Mm. Put all these lights and all that in for it. He ain't got a blooming clue. He thought he could run it all off a 240 volt cable, twin and earth. Cool. Right. So, intrinsic. This is flame. Mm. So. Don't matter if we get a little bit on the texture because I'm going to do the texture in a slightly different colour. So, how far do I have to go down to eat this thing? There's a, there's a million of it. 
obviously. Just watch the little heart until it disappears. I am glad I didn't have to write all that code. Yeah, Wurzel. Uh, Forget that. At um, the reports, you say they, they kicked you out when you went to a normal school. See, our school, all of them weren't normal. None of them. My, my school was so good it was approved. Carry a flick knife back in those days. Approved by Her Majesty's government. It was. What, it was a prison, was it? No, it was no one. It sounded like just an approved school. I'll give it to you, though. I never, ever, right. ever, ever in my life, and I still haven't to this day, my age as well, ever eaten a school meal. Is that? Have you not? I love school now. Never, never, ever, never had a school meal. We used like, to love the steam. Mother always used to say, we didn't live, we only lived about 10 minutes away. She's come home, she said, and got home there. So I cooked dinner waiting for me every time we got home. Brilliant, it was. And uh, Martin oh, Ford no, says he'll have to go. Where the mothers, see that, mothers actually stayed home and looked after the kids. You know. Cheers, Martin. He says he'll hey, see, you, see you on Sunday. You too, boys. Yeah, see you on Sunday, Martin. See you later, mate. Terry's report said, Terry's, uh, uh, Ben says, Terry's report sure, it must have said, must grow up, but have rebelled against that advice. <laughs> yeah, quite right. Yeah. Is that flame you're putting on there, Steve? It is flame, yes. Listen, will you, Brian? He said flame. No, but I wasn't listening. I was trying. Oh, well, that's trouble with you. I don't need to listen. Sure didn't know it was flame, just by looking at it. Shows you the quality of Steve's picture coming out. Colin says there's storage in the village here, just around the corner from where I live. So I could put a camper van there. <laughs> Rob yes, says his mum, his mum was a school cook, and he, he damn me, I ate well, he says. <laughs> I'll bet you did. I used to quite like school hours. Well, some of them. Some of the stuff. Tapioca was. <laughs> <laughs> That just doesn't even sound nice. Yeah, it's not nice. It's like, it's like frog spawn. <laughs> oh, what was that? A dessert or a main or something? It's a dessert. dessert. Is it never heard of it? Yeah, tapioca. Tapioca pudding. Oh, Cheap semolina. I used to like, uh, used to like the uh, um, sponge pudding with custard. <gasps> yeah, that's nice. Yummy, yummy. Coconut Arctic sponge and roll. pink custard. Arctic Spot roll. dick. No, not, not Arctic roll, no. Sponge pudding. Okay. Steamed punch, sponge pudding. Absolutely delish. Love it. Probably coconut I still love it to this custard. So this is Ruby. Yep. Ruby, Ruby, Ruby. So hopefully get this in here. Make a oh, Roy's a boy. Be happy now. He likes that colour, doesn't he? No, plum. No, no. No, no. Plum. Plum. Oh, well. Oh, sorry, Roy. He likes the plum. I think you do one section of plum. <laughs> Rob, the professor still eats tapioca. It's gross. It's like, it's like millions of little eyes sitting looking at you out of the plate. Very to eat it. School dinners and compost come from the same place. <laughs> yeah. Cinnamon rose, says Jim. Yeah, I like cinnamon rose. Yeah, They're gorgeous. Nice jam. Yeah, right. Remember, we went to Florida and, it, and early in the morning, I was walking down through this like marketplace. And this woman was rolling out a cinnamon roll and chopping them up uh, to put them in the oven. She had the hot ones coming out. No, Norman has that. Have bag full. Norman has a little bit of research. He says uh, the 50k one is in the catalogue at £350. Right. That's cheaper than? You, you boys McLeod. Down. I don't care. I think, I think the 35k one is cheaper than I paid for it too. Perhaps they're getting them better now from Chinesium. They've made their profit now. They don't need to worry about it. Okay, Alex. I'll have a go at it after. I'm not doing it now. Just in case I do something that I shouldn't be doing. Which wouldn't be like me. There's a fly in here. We're there not talking about food, Joe. <laughs> there was a fly in here. You're just dreaming it, Joe. I'm not talking about food. Who mentioned food? I was, I was talking about food. I happened to mention school dinners and how yucked they were and everybody else. Rob's talking about like tapioca. And that's not food. No. Ben got it right. He said it's compost. 
Why is there a fly in here, Terry? Uh, perhaps you left the window open last week. I mean, it's October. There should be no flies at this time of year. Well, you know. Especially, I broke my, especially I think I did Ireland, broke my vinyl. Uh, second more leaves. Oops. Maybe trying to swat a fly. Shower, Brian, and won't attract them. Oh, maybe that's maybe that's true. I used to like ice cream roll with gingerbread man in the middle. Ah, oh, let's see. What's this thing as gingerbread man when I was at school? You sure that wasn't a gingerbread person? No, let's not go there. <laughs> Tapioca is drugs, boy. You're quite right, but see, it definitely is. Rob says he eats it now. Still eats it. Oh, go with jam in it. The jam. No, Rob, stop it. You're making me feel queasy. That's his Joe. The last old fashioned sweet shop with jars and sweets you can buy in a quarter are just shut down. Shut down, yeah. <sighs> going down there. I'm so missing my quarter of my sherbet. Oh. It used to be a Wait, yeah. sweet shop in our town like that, used to do all the old fashioned sweets. I think we still have one of those in Newcastle Main Street. Now, that's Newcastle County down. For those of uh, you uninitiated people who don't know anything about where I live, um, there is one um, sweetie shop that has a full wall full of those sort of, well, they used to be glass jars with the screw top lid, but they're now, pla they're now plastic, obviously. <laughs> thousands but thousands of different kinds of sweets. Lucy says we're still getting wasps and hornets. No, we haven't seen. No, I haven't seen a wasp for a while. Just the odd fly. You know, so, thankfully. Archibald says he's, he he could go for a nice rectangular piece of pizza. Common American school lunch serving that is. Mm, rectangular pizza. What's that about? Pizza. Yeah. Well, I don't know. Pizza much. Price beating a steak at school served. <laughs> Yeah, Ray's pudding, you could walk over, yeah. Barry's going, Barry's with Grace, has got to go. See you Sunday. See you there, Barry. Barry. Oh, you're coming to the bar, good man. See you Sunday next day. Uh, don't bother, Rob, thanks, all the same. <laughs> Rob says I'll bring you a tin of tapioca to Harrogate, Brian. Don't bother, thanks, all the same. Robert says it was that warm today, I walked the dog at midday in my shirt sleeves. Well, you wouldn't have done it here. Because I had to go up to the yard with my winter coat on this morning and the wind would have cut you in half. Rob says, if I'm ever lucky enough to go to Ireland again, the first thing I'll be getting is a white pudding with soda bread. Oh my God, it was good. Well, if you're ever lucky enough to come to Ireland again, Rob, don't forget to call in and see me. And if you need somewhere to stay, I have a spare room. Ruby Clear says we never had food served at school. Oh. Poor Ruby. Didn't get fed at school. Them nuns are awful to their kids. Uh, nuns are terrible. And <laughs> Robert from Hodgepodge says it uh, looks a bit like a wounded bull. Perfect <laughs> timer for Halloween. <laughs> <laughs> So I just need to put another yeah. coat of and, ruby on it. Right? Uh, uh, Terry's absence uh, sound quality is because he's on the phone, guys. He's talking to somebody. He'll be back in a moment. And talk to I still remember spending half an hour picking penny sweets and only spent 25p maximum. Yeah. Indeed, Ben. I remember that kind of day as well, too. Yeah. Can I have uh, one of those? Was, Even half penny sweets. Were, yeah, exactly. Well, four... Four four blackjacks for a penny. I remember. You used to get. I remember when I was a... Oh, I'm going to say like an old man now. When I was a kid, one of these down the road from where my nan and grand used to live, there used to be a sweet shop. And my nan used to give me 50 pence. And I used to go and get enough uh, lemon bonbons to last me all week, nearly, to mm. with that 50 pence. Indeed. I remember, I rem I, uh, no, you think you think you're sound old. I remember going to the shop with a farthing and getting sweets. I don't even know what Just a farthing is. So. A, farthing was a, a farthing was a quarter of an old penny. 
because you're a penny and a halfpence and then a farthing. That's when money was worth something. Uh, Rob says, do wood turners do stuff for Halloween? I see lots of Christmas stuff, but not Halloween. Yes, we do. We do things like uh, witches, witches' cauldrons. Um, not witches, Ben doesn't like witches. Uh, ben doesn't like witches, is right. Uh, doesn't like your witch, anyway. <laughs> uh, we do things like um, wizard's wands and that kind of stuff. Yeah. We, we do. And pumpkins, all sorts of stuff. Anybody out in the chat land get any ideas for turned um, Halloween items? Well, uh, Robert says pumpkins. I think pumpkins is the most popular in it. <laughs> ben Jamal just says, did the wrap sweets and banana leaves your day, Brian? No, they didn't. Because we never very rarely ever had bananas because it was just after the war and it took years for bananas to actually come back after the war. It was more than 1953, Ben. I actually had a ration card when I was born. How about that? Rob says, I remember going to the shop with a shilling to get two pints of milk, a bag of sweets, Two pound uh, or potatoes and rashers for bacon. Can you do that now? Uh, no, too many cameras. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, very good, Rob. <coughs> uh, Tim from TF Turning says he was raised on neeps and tatties. Wouldn't, be, wouldn't have done you any harm whatsoever right. with the odd carrot thrown in every now and again when your man could find them. I must admit, when I was a kid, we used to eat a lot more vegetables than what we do nowadays. Mm -hmm. Well, I, I tend to eat a lot of vegetables. I like, I like my veggies. But the youth of today have no interest in vegetables whatsoever. I'd sooner have a grotty old cheeseburger or something. All right, so. What are we going to put over the top of that? Really nice. Ah, draw, I, I suppose. Don't know. I don't know. Yeah. Draw it first. Get some sand and yeah. cinder over it. In a quiet without Terry. I wonder, could you dry brush it? It is a bit, yeah. Shh, don't spoil it. <laughs> You'll come back. <laughs> he's, he, <laughs> uh, he's sitting concentrated. I can see him, you see. I can see Terry. <laughs> he can still hear us, by the way. He's still got his heads on, headset on. So no doubt we'll get some abuse when he comes back. Uh, Robert Brockwood said he have just done two cordons and wands. Very good. And Rob says his grandkids are mad on fruit and veg. Uh, that's good. Well done their parents for getting them hooked on it. Just wait till they're a bit older. The boy says, I used to go to the pub and three pints, two bags of crisps, and two games of pool, uh, or more, if I won. Very good. Indeed, Roy. We know your pub habits. All right, let's have a look here. Let's get what we got. There's obviously a dealer's room in, uh, in, in the pub, Roy goes to. Terry stuff. Yeah, Terry's talking to EasyJet. They've just offered them the CEO's position, says Robert Clingsport. <laughs> <laughs> You've got a good sense of humour, Rob. Charlie, uh, Charlie and Lucy are organising a date, for goodness sake. Uh, what's going on in this chat today? Hold on. <laughs> are we all invited? No, I think it just seems to be a tete-a-tete -tete between the two of them, right. I think. Oh. Back. Oh, God, he's back. Oh, I had a phone call from some long-lost... Relative. Uh, well, yeah, long-lost relative, really. And she said, did I know X, Y, and Z's died? And I said, yeah, but I couldn't remember her address. And so it's come as a complete shock. Best friends, cousins, and all that. One of them's died, so. Oh dear. Sorry, so I had to answer the call. 
Sorry about that, buddy. Stupid right. boy. Right. Why am I doing that? I don't know. Why did you do that? Need you sand and cedar, doesn't it? I'm wondering why the <laughs> colour's coming off on my brush. Because no, I ain't put no wondering. sand and cedar on it. No. See, if I didn't have that phone call, I would have reminded you because Brian couldn't. He, you know, he's like... <laughs> Right, let's get some sand he, just, he, said, he said not 30 cents ago he was going to put sand and seal on it and then didn't bother. Look, Miller's in. Hello, Doug. Hey, maybe. Hi, Doug. Evening, Doug. Well, it's only one colour, well, really two, but it's all red. I think you should darken that one. It's gone a bit pasty. There's one of them nice good towels he's using again. What? Nicky! <laughs> he's using your towel again. Robert Brockman says, when I started drinking, bitter was 16 pence for a pint. Mm, it was about that. Robert's offering you some advice, Terry. He says, pull the farini and just start opening it. Yeah, turn it off. Start over. Why you do That's that? That's the answer. Oh, that might look all right. Can't colour it now anyway, can he? Because he's just painted over it. It just Well he can't, he can put acrylic you should put acrylics on it. Right? Put a paint on there now, yeah, make it look really good. Well wax is even, you could use some Join the dots. Join the dots, yeah. Paint some lines from A to B, you know, across all the Blend the dots and blend it out. <coughs> Different colours. Some of those nice uh, fancy waxes there that we bought. You know the uh, fancy waxes we got, Steve? Mm. I was going to put that gold nice. paint over it. Over oh, the really? texture. Grandy, yeah. Just dry brush it over the texture. Yeah. That would be good. My first paid job was 50 pence an hour. My first paid job was in the military and I got 10 shillings and 6 pence a week. Yeah, I got three pound ten pence a week. My first job, but then it was apprentice, apprentice engineering. Apprentices didn't get much then. They don't get much now. They don't get much now. <laughs> but it was a good job. You got to look at what you can and when you've qualified. That's the benefit. Of it. It was in, yeah, it was interest as anything. It was interest, really interest. Mm -hmm. When I was Five doing years. my. Uh, when I was doing my apprenticeship, I got £47 a week for Monday to Friday and all day Saturday. Oh. A bit different than £3.10 shillings. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but he's 20 years younger than you, Dad. Yes. Or 23 nearly, 22 nearly. Whereas the youngsters Very nowadays, they want to think they can earn £1,000 a week, don't they? Oh, yeah. <laughs> And they got to have it, or they won't go to work. They'd stay on, on well, a, you know. You mean the one going? You, you mean the one going? Mm. Whether they're working or not, it's a whole different ballgame. Brian will get this. Uh, I am that old when I was in the TA. We had an SLR 7.62 wooden stocks. Lovely. Yes. Hmm. <coughs> when I was in the ATC, I, we used to we used to go to the shooting range with three o threes. They were brilliant. Yeah, they were. Oh, the SLR with the wooden stocks was the best, but the best version of the SLR. Uh, did you have the old thirty seven um, uh, rifle sling as well, Rob? With the shiny brass buckles on the end. We used to use the old Lee Enfields when I was in Army Cadets, three o threes. Yep. Good rifle. Very accurate. Get very, very accurate, yeah. Whereas used to get 13 Long bottle with them, you see. 13 pounds 60 a week for working on 60 hours on a farm. Not well. Just about that now, isn't it? Yeah, it's not much more. A bit of bonus. <laughs> God, it reminds me of a Jeffro joke. Does. A bit of bonus yeah. in your pocket. Bonus.
When I first joined the army, we still had a thing called battle dress. Oh, yeah, I remember that. Which was, and it had a little, uh, the, the, the trousers were, I don't know what it was like, it was made by a blanket, made out of a blanket. Is it serge, as they call it and stuff? Well, that green stuff. Well, it was a kind of brownie colour. Horrible, crappy colour, terrible. And it was all sort of hairy and fuzzy and jaggy and, and had a stupid little jacket that didn't never came down to your waist. Terrible things. The way the boy says I used an it. SLR on a submachine gun and used the SA80. Uh, a submachine gun. Do you mean a Sterling submachine gun, Roy? This was my thing. Robert says the last thing I wanted to think about was Brian in a dress. Well, I did wear a kilt yeah. for, a lot, for a long time, uh, Hodge. Only because he, got, only cause he couldn't get his trousers on with the swelling. That's what it was. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Eat too much. Uh, Brian, oh my God, what were those things you wrapped around the bottom of your lightweight trousers? Oh, putties. Putties, they were called. I thought putties were glass in. <laughs> no, putties. No glass. Uh, no, putties. Uh, but in the in the Highland Division, we used, you used to, to go around looking things. tough, Brian, with those with those daggers in your socks. That's right. Maybe uh, daggers. It's called a ski and do, Terry. I bet. I bet. I bet you never throw money life over, and I got it not it right anyway. Well, it's ski and do. Good if you want. That's what you're turning next week, Brian. In your get in do's what? or whatever they're called. Ski kill. and do. Serge, that's the one. Yeah, Serge. That's what it was, Robert. Yep. Let's try again. Terrible. An Quite SMT, a Sterling, Sterling submachine gun, it was called, Roy, if you want to be correct. I remember f shooting a br couple of clips of Bren gun. Well, more than a couple. Andy. It's good. Took the old target system out. Bren gun with 30 round magazine, Terry, no? Yeah. Yeah, it was about, about, about 10 or 12 of these things. <coughs> Brilliant, it was. Instead of hitting the target, I took the old machine out, the old target system, you know, on the stalks and all. <laughs> They all went. <laughs> oh, Gibbs says the SLR was the best rifle ever. And it, uh, well, it was, it was actually based on the Belgian FM, which is the, and then the British Army modified it to, to suit their needs. Uh, and there was a method of making a, an automatic as well, but it was far too powerful to be automatic. It would rip your shoulder off. Well, Ruby Clare uh, is saying, I wish they changed our gun laws so that she could sell some of hers. Well, you, you're not allowed to sell them then, really, once you bought them, or you're not really allowed to have them in, uh, and you've got them, but you can't get rid of them. Is that the thing? What's the rules that you can't sell them? That's what I mean. Don't know. Doug Miller says, question, Texas with a Dremel. No, it was not Texas with a Dremel. It was Texas by a Wood Art Products um, micro drill. Similar principles. Very similar, though, Doug. Yeah, similar principle. I think we should all do, uh, uh, donate an extra to the auction if Brian will turn it in a kilt. Well, I have to tell you that I haven't, I haven't got my kilt anymore. I don't own such a thing. And Brian probably an old World War II tank out the back. No, I don't, Andy, unfortunately. I wish I did. He sold it. Mm. What, worth a fortune. I was one for sale the other day. Oh, you can so buy a me. tank. Facebook Marketplace was a tank for sale for about eight thousand pounds. I thought. Oh, absolutely. Should I get one of those? Buy yeah, one for you, Ruth. You can drive around the streets. I'll do it. They won't get in her way then. Probably the one of the only countries in the world where you can buy ex-military uh, vehicles, yeah. fully equipped, but still with the gun barrels and stuff on them. Yeah. Um, and nobody bats an eyelid. Showed a red arrow the other day. You know, one of those red arrows airplanes. RAF Scampton when they moved out of Scampton. There was a red arrow actually on because that was their base. The red arrow, one of the planes, was sitting on as a you know demo thing, mascot, whatever, fully that's functional. Coming, that's coming up nice, nice, uh, Steve. And they uh, sold it. Somebody bought it. Sold the red arrow. Yeah, sold the plane. So you see some spurious red arrow flying around the place. You know, uh -huh. It's not the real ones. <laughs> it might be terrible. 
Terry having a play. <laughs> Used to fly. I could always hire a kilt, to, to, but I won't be turning in the auction anyway, so. No. And you very rarely ever see the uh, bottom half because I sat at my desk. And... Do I see your hairy legs anyway? Yeah, spend, spendly hairy legs, yeah. You're quite right, Terry, you don't. See better, better, better legs hanging out of a nest. Ruby says mine were uh, competition. Completion for, for com, completion competition. For firearms. No, yeah. I think she means competition. More competition. Firearms. Completion uh, firearms for competition. World, world Cup level. Right. Hugh Log says it can't be bought or sold or even given away. So you've got to keep them. So what sort of ranges were you firing at, uh, Ruby? Two rim fires are competition guns. Well, you've got to be able to do something with them, Ruby, because if you, you know, eventually one day you might pass away, what happens to them then? Be destroyed, I would imagine. Mm-hmm. <laughs> ben Jarman says, kilts do look quite comfortable, and they do have a lot of pouch in the front for the store your haggis and iron brew, which is really handy. <laughs> Shut up, Ben. <sighs> Shut up, it's a purse for keeping your money in. Steve, you could fit that red arrow, red arrow in your carport. <laughs> Not with my car under one. What have you got against my carport anyway, Ben? It's done nothing to you. You've been stalking. Matthew Lawrence is Matthew. in. Hello, Matthew. Oh. Hi, Matthew. Matthew. How are you doing, bud? Just come in from the workshop, he says. Welcome along. I think it's time for another one of these. Been barring, are you still? Yep. If not, why not? I'm in practice now for um, Harrogate. <laughs> oh, yeah, well. In training. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. You'll need it with Pete and Joe. I mean, Glenn. Ruby wants to know is that gold paint, Steve? Uh, yeah, it is. Well, yes, it is gold paint. It's an acrylic paint. Acrylic gold, oh, yes. Gold acrylic. I've, I've just succeeded in making an ice cream with my beer. Look at that, Terry. It's not brown. Look at that, Terry. <laughs> Need knife and fork to eat that one. It's just, got, mean, it's just got a little bit of a head on it. <laughs> obviously, it was you shook it up or it was warm or... Mm, it's warm. Or it, right. It's warm. I don't like cold beer. What are you applying? Is it gold gilding? No, it's just acrylic paint, Jim. Dry brushed <laughs> acrylic paint. Yeah, so I'm just dry brushing it because I want some of the the other colour to come from underneath it. So it just... Oh, Robert, Robert Kleinspor says, after 30 years, I can still remember by heart my forces number. Right, so can I, Rob. So that's what I'm using, abstract gold paint. What, what, was your, what was your first two numbers, Number right? zero to eight. Number zero to eight, that is, uh, Jim. Uh, the gold paint. That's the abstract colours. Yes, they are. I have a set of them, too. They're nice. Good colours. Mm -hmm. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to quickly dry off and I'm just going to give that a quick coat of acrylic lacquer. So if I put a wax over it, then we're going to um, get it in the texture. We don't want that. So Rob says he can remember his uh, army number, uh, but the important bit is the first three numbers to oh, two, four, six. Oh, no. Sprog. That's all I can say, Rob. <laughs> Rob's number starts with two, four, six. It's an eight digit number. They can't all be high-ranking officers like Oh, you. there's Roy the boys jumped in with 245. Still a Sprog, Rob. What's a Sprog, Brian? Sprog. A junior. Uh, Remy? No, no. Cannon fodder? A, a Sprog is a young and experienced soldier. A Sprog is just as bad. So when you're given a number, that's don't stay with you oh. through the military then, does it, or not? 
I don't know. Oh, yeah. is for, for, the, for the rest of your days. Uh, well, Fred, Fred Gulliver has, has, has me beat. He has starts as 2 4 0. Well done, Fred. Brian. You must have joined in 68, probably. Or maybe 60. Watch, watch, which works was 007. Yeah, right. Uh huh. <laughs> Wayne doesn't have a number, it was Roman numerals. Yeah, double laced carve it. <laughs> It was actually hieroglyphics on stone. He didn't, he didn't have a nine times, he just had a bit of slight in his pocket. Well, the boy wants to know what mine is. <laughs> Wayne's number was one. <laughs> yeah, no, I don't think it was. <coughs> so my first three numbers, two, four, one. Four, one, oh. Fred did beat you. He did, yeah. Said that. That's what I'm saying. He must have been in sort of 68, 67 megabytes. If I'd have joined the forces, that would have been my number then, because I'll, I'll, it would have been 67 then I'm, when I joined my apprenticeship in the dockyard. I was, instead of go, I was going to go in one of the forces. And I I'd say just by chance it ended with 240 as well. Oh. The signals. Fred's in the signals. <laughs> yeah, he's How many, then, Fred? How many, Fred? How many words a minute? Morse code? I got up to 42. Reading and sending. By hand. Uh, MOD-90. MOD-90, for those who don't know, uh, is the um, uh, military identification card. Rob's professor's great uncle's numbers tattooed on his leg started at 233. Two, three. Oh. Well done, Jim. Served in law enforcement for 25 years and 25 a very years, important job, too. Well done. MOD 102. What was MOD 102, Lucy? Oh, you've got me there. Yeah, got me Class A license as well, Rob. Well, 42 words a minute I got to in the end, but that was struggling. I was struggling to get that far, but yeah. Best beef essence. Da 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 Oh, he was a communications operator. Only radio ops did Morse code. Ooh, only, right. only radio ops did Morse code. That's all right. That's not a problem. You tell him, Fred. When everything else dies, oh, I, I can, even, I can okay. even read it. I can read a carrier. Not even the sound. Just read the carrier. Did you, did you work with a bit of 150, Andy? Oh, that's This, this bull is looking rather spectacular. It's looking quite nice, actually. It is. Steve. Liking it. Brilliant. I'm liking it. Oh, yes, Rob. Uh, uh, you, you don't have to renew the license anymore. I've got my license forever now. So. What license? Radio amateur license. Oh, yeah. Radio home license. Okay. Uncle Lowe will pop up any minute. No, he was in the Navy. So. I did back in the 80s. When I was in the war. <laughs> Uncle Albert was in the I Navy. I did back in the 80s, by the way, Brian. I know. In the 80s, when I was serving Queen and Country, yeah. That's quite correct. The only most guy that I know is XYYZ. Is it? Right, the boy was a radio signals instructor and engineer. So he was a signals instructor in the infantry, right? That was my first teaching assignment, was uh, teaching um, 
signals in. Uh, yeah, the die is flame, Doug. Was yeah, one of them. Flame and ruby. Flame and, two. and ruby is underneath the uh, gold. Is it two stains? Gold. Right. Funny how do things like that, Fred. Yeah, so could I. It. So could I, yeah. Fred. I couldn't do it now. The old ticker tape that came off the bottom. Mm. Just read them and do the whole dots. We, we, used to, we used to have to sit and type that up, type up the situation report every night uh, on the ticker tape thing. Teleprinter, whatever it helps called, I can't remember now. Sit and type that up and it punched out the tape and then you'd feed the tape into the bid one fifteen cent at the wherever. That's it a was. nice one, Rob. MR5, M5, M5, RRR. Hmm. I'll take you back a little bit from there. Oh, where's my bloody thing here? Hit that. Right. All right, Chuck. Try that Chuck? one, Rob. It goes back a bit, doesn't it? <coughs> the, the, the military had codes for everything. The only one I remember is ZBF. And that was the when you when you uh, sent your initial your initial um I can't remember what you call it. Send your initial header, if you like. You had to put header if it was, if it was going to be a long message, you had to put ZBF in it. That is old school, Rob. Way back. Yes. Right, the boy started with Larkspur. Larkspur radios and then Klansman. Yep. Had all of them right. We used to do a thing called um, a long A41, time. C42s. We used to do a thing called. Uh, there was a field day. It was a you had, a, you had two clubs did it and individuals did it. Twenty four hours, uh, forty eight hours, two days, non stop. Uh, so no sleep, and make as many contacts around the world, you know, and they were all validated by computers. You'd print, send in the logs, and I was the eighty meter champion of the world. That one of them, which was quite good. Big certificate to prove it. Morse code. Work the most countries, most call signs, most signals in in the world on that weekend. Never slept for forty eight hours. Never closed my eyes. And now he sleeps all the time. No, I sleep all the time because I'm old. I'm allowed to. Wait, wait. I am invincible. Shut when you sleep. So just hollow this out, and we'll be finished. And the good bit about right, the good bit about it was when Ruth. And I lived in the yeah. other house. For about 20 years, I had a radio station in the loft and big antennas and all the use you know, beams and rotating st uh, towers. And she, I went to bed one day and about three o'clock in the morning, she said, will you go upstairs and turn that bloody Morse code off? Well, she said, get upstairs and turn the Morse code off. Drive me crazy. So I went up the stairs to the loft, pitch black and silent. It was all turned off. She was dreaming it. She was, she was all in the red. <laughs> she, <laughs> dreaming it, yeah. She didn't even know she says I can hear Morse code. Oh, brilliant. Yeah, Robert says that it has a Japanese look about it, that bold, Stephen. Hmm. Has a, does a bit oh, Chinese or, oriental type uh, effect on the outside. Oh. We'll leave the centre calling because I don't know how often I'm going to go. Let's yet. cut in nice. Let's cut in nice. Mm -hmm. When you say that's a bit of weed, was Steve? A bit of beach. Beach. I think you put that camera there on purpose just to try and catch the shavings coming straight out of the camera. You think? <laughs> well done. If you turn the flute the right way, you'd get it just go, just go by the camera so it looks even better. You know? <laughs> right. There you go. Straight at it, look. That's it. There just aim the flute straight at it. Look, lovely, isn't it? <laughs> lovely old job. What's done with mirrors? <clears throat> Smoking mirrors. Yeah, whereas it was a CB operator by the look of it on SSB. 
lower sideband was better because nobody down there so you don't want to use upper sideband. Use the other end of the carrier, it's even better. Shadow day, nobody knows you there. The engine of Radio Course Center at Chant and Dean had its own radio, ham radio call sign. G3XRE. G3 yeah. Chairman, when I was the chairman of the Plymouth <laughs> Amateur Radio Club, ours was G3 PRC, Plymouth Radio Club. Uh, Andy says, don't go too thin after all that hard work. And... <laughs> yeah, you've got a mortise in the bottom, haven't you? I know what you mean, Andy, I know what you mean. Get a sharp gouge, I reckon. For a final cut. Just one more cut, they say. Just one more cut. One, just one cut. That's all it took in. Anybody going to the Taylor's Murfield Open weekend this weekend? Or? Mm, nope. Nope. Not me, anyway. Oh, I've got this thing on there. I'm already. Are, um, yeah, you it. have. I can't, you know. See, so. He's got to be there. He's the main man, isn't he? Mm -hmm. Yeah. No, I'm not the main man. I'm just a, just a lackey hanging on. He's just, he's just a member. Yeah, he's just a member of me. Nothing important for me. Staying out of that nonsense. Yeah. Well, I've got other jobs to do, am I? So, road we're turning, Brian. Wood tunnel? What does wood tunnel thing? Who, who does wood tunnel? I've got other jobs to do. Hmm. Loads, <coughs> loads of other jobs to do. Hmm. Yeah, of course, you know the internet, uh, Rob, was um, advised by a radio ham. We used to use the internet before people knew what the internet was. <clears throat> Trying out over radio. Before it went hardwired or salads. And things. That's why it was developed. Roy the boy says, Rod, how long were you in for? I think you mean a rob. Eleven years. Robbed it. Robbed it. Robbed, robbed in eleven years. Right. 20, 20, 24 and a half, I think. You did too many, Brian. No, I didn't. In fact, did you? No, I didn't. Or did didn't you affect, not? Didn't affect me at all. I could have done another 20, easily. Because if it's something you enjoy, then why... Yeah. That's no different than a job, is it? Exactly. Yeah. I just felt at that time I needed a break from it. Get a bit of bounce right there. And he says 22 years and nine days. Nine days. It's funny how you remember the, the small details, man. That's because he won't going to pay his pension for the extra nine days we saved. Yeah. One more year and you've got your long service medal. I didn't get my long service and good conduct. It's an LS and GC. You don't get one without the other, by the way. You can't have a long service medal without the good conduct. And unfortunately, you were a real renegade, were you? Well, in the beginning, it was Terry, uh, but yeah. Hmm. Just a bit. The regimental conduct sheet, as long as your arm. Okay. You knuckled down in the end, though. I did. Settled down after about three years. Got a bit of sense. And lost it all again. 
Called growing up, Bry. That's exactly what it was, Terry. We knew then what we know now, eh? If only. But you tell the youngers, and they just say, "Ah, oh, no," and they go same. They do the same thing as we did. Mm hmm. The human race would be much further on if children learned from the mistakes of their parents. But they don't. They have to make their own mistakes. That's why we're not quite as far on as we should be. Yeah, that's correct, Andy. Misbehaving. No, I can't believe it. Lucy says she knew an officer and had mm -hmm. no medals until the Golden Jubilee medal. <laughs> I, I, I know really a few. Bad. I, I, I kind of know a few of them, uh, let's say. All right, let's get this sounded. Sounded. It's looking good, Steve. Mm -hmm. Well turned on the inside, buddy. Well turned on the outside as well, but... Past nine. Wow. Great. Fly is still here, Terry. Is it? You missed it then? I must have missed it. That's not good. It's not good at all. The two weeks training course at Grantham. I still get nervous anywhere I go near the place. Yeah, know what you mean. I spent the first 18 months of my life in uh, Folkestone and Kent. That was an experience and a half, I've got to tell you. You have to apply for the Jubilee Medal, Roy. I don't give it to you when you leave, him. Eh? I've got mine. I have a GSM with six bars on it. Very plain, isn't it? Beach. Not really a it lot of character. Not, not yeah, a lot of character. No, Just a bit of flex in it now and again. In some pieces, there's very little carry. Hmm. It's a bit strange, right? Have you, you know, take it, you've chased it up. Get the Legion on it, they all sort out of you. <laughs> Matthew's looking for the dog. <laughs> it's under the shaving oh, back here in the workshop. She's she's uh, she's hiding in the in the office here. Yeah, because she don't want to go. No, she don't want to go. No. She does it all day. Well, there's a nice little background in that.
on one side of it anyway, there's a bit. Wow. Yes, he is, Virgil. Uh, indeed, Alex, I heard that too. Seen that. Martin's going to start doing lives Tuesday night. He is Please. indeed. Let's get me getting some time off. Because he hasn't had time in recent years, has he? He hasn't, no. Dave Odie's in. Hello, Dave. Hi, Dave. Long Hello, time Dave. to see. How you doing, Mike? Hope you're keeping well. Not two thanks, guys. That that mean you're going, Archie? If you are, bye. Well, hey. That you ain't got to go. All the best if you are going. Sign up to 400. Good man. <laughs> Just like that. Wipe out the dust. Wipe out the dust. Yeah, that was a nice bit of green. I'll see it now when you sand and seal it. Yeah. It'll pop out a little bit. Um. Rob from Clingsport, if there is anything from Clingsport Rains that you would like to see and have a go with, let me know and I will make sure I have it at Harrogate. Well, I'll have a think about that, Rob. Just those little cutters, Rob, you know, the ones that look yeah, like when Steve was you in, yeah, I'll, I mean, you know. <laughs> I'll have a look at that. Gone, you know, just Dave, Dave Oat, he says he's been very busy, Terry, built with the uh, building in the new workshop. Oh, yeah, I've seen that. I've seen a couple of pictures of it being done. Dave, been following it, looking forward you, to it. When it's, is it finished now or what? Are you near finished or what's happening? It's not that dry, Dean did that. Turn that off. We're turning with Dave. Is there it says lovely job, Steve. Thank you very I'm much. Very. Now, Lu Lucy's saying uh, I'm currently lent against three cushions. One is the Army Air Corps, one is the Corps of Music, and the third is the Royal Artillery. I have very few mementos now of my military career, uh, except in my office. I have a picture of uh, picture of um, myself and my good lady at a regimental dinner. Uh, I have my royal warrant on the wall, and I have a picture of Her Majesty the Queen presenting us with new colours. Dave Oldie says, oh, and falling through the scaffold terror, just normal life, really. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I know that, oh, Dave. Yeah, I've yeah, fallen yeah. through many a scaffold terror. Off of them. I wouldn't have admitted to that. I look forward to see it finished. Uh, Rob says we'll have the three mill shafts, uh, <laughs> shafted shapes in stock. Good man, Rob. Good man. Once you don't get a collar to fit. No. Dave says he's not quite finished.
course, uh, Klein Sport being a basically a German is Klein Sport still a German owned company, Rob, or is it owned by somebody else now? Started in Germany, didn't it? No. Hence the hence the stuff in millimeters. That's what I was thinking. That was where I, that question comes from. Stuff in being in millimeters rather than imperial. Final bit, Hampshire Sheen Wax, High Gloss Wax. Uh, does anybody know when Martin's actually starting yeah, doing live? This Tuesday, uh, this Tuesday, this, this Tuesday coming. Yeah, 17th. So, um, look, Monday night, Monday night's going to be free this Monday because I'm not doing a live on Monday. Uh, and I don't think I'll be doing any more Mondays, to be honest. If you want to jump in there on Monday night, that might be a good slot for you. If it suits you, of course. <laughs> I think Martin was talking about he couldn't do Mondays it's his job and he's busy on his Monday evening he it was best for him he said so he got uh, the Martin. choice really yeah. yeah well it's 360 club two Mondays are two Mondays yeah, are three sixty. Right? yes sir, exactly so. that's kind of why I'm coming off it because I'm in 360 club and I keep missing the club and you do so nice shine Steve Lovely. Give yourself a shiny. <laughs> yes, Germany, yes it's, uh, German based, owned by the King Spore family. Yeah. Mm, lovely. So I thought that. I, I seem to remember reading that history somewhere uh, along the line when, when we first. I think it's when you first started coming about, Rob. I looked it up just because I'd actually never heard the King Spore abrasives before you kind of appeared in the chat, Rob. It's been in the automotive trade for years. So it has, yeah. yeah. Uh, but I yeah, mean, I'm in not there. involved in the automotive trade at all. So, all right, we say we used to use Kingsport abrasive years ago. Mm. Yeah, it shined up nicely. And there is a bit of interest another in the coat coming. There's another coat coming, Doug. There you go. Second coat. Mm -hmm. Keep moving my tissue. Gentle. Andy, Andy says, the lovely shine that, Stephen. Not many tool marks showing either. Oh, thanks, Andy. Yeah. That's a good thing when you when you sand it with 40 grit, you can get where any marker is. <laughs> <laughs> Look at that baby. She gleam. Just two Anyone coats of wax. Any... What's uh, what's uh, Andy uh, uh, Alex saying now? Anyone joining in tomorrow on Saturday surgery? No, I won't be. I'm teaching tomorrow. What is Saturday surgery when it's home? Uh, there's a Facebook page in there with uh, Kate Volger, Chris Parker, okay, and, I... and somebody else. They do an open thing. Yeah. I think I think that's the one in it. So I can't be on too many times. With that, with just wax gloss. Look at the sheen shine on that. Yeah, Charlie. Very pretty. We've right. been around just shy of 130 years. Uh, invented the high-speed grinding disc and flap disc. Uh, <laughs> and, uh, no, I haven't been there that long. I think maybe you have, Rob. Well, it sounds like it, Rob. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Let's see his lights off. Come back on this camera. Let's see a bit better on this camera. So, just to sh get that focus, Steve. Focus, Hello. focus, focus. focus, focus. A little bit. That's it. There. That's it. Oh, so, oh, just, a, just a little bit of texturing. Hello, oh, dear. On the outside. Very nice. Ruby red, no, flame red, and then ruby inside the texture. Could really do with being buffed off, really, because it's a little bit. I might just go with a scotch bright just to take the little bit. Jim's of... saying, do you find that the sheen dissipates after a few weeks? Is always has to reapply his wax. Um, not for seal properly, it shouldn't do. 
Are you using Hampshire Sheen high glass, glass, glass wax, Jim? If you seal your wood first properly, then the wax can't soak into the timber. So the only time that really dissipates is if the wax can soak into the timber. So if you... Uh... Ruby says, look, good, good, Steve, looks good. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. But yeah, so just basically flame red, bit of ruby behind there, a little bit of gold, acrylic paint, dry brushed on the texture and just to highlight that. And just basic finish on the inside so just a simple little bowl just i ain't done nothing colored for a while so i thought that'd be nice very nice change. thank you very much got our brush some really nice comments coming in thank nobody you, said it's a load of rubbish yet <laughs> good <laughs> keep your mouth shut andy would work in, uh, <laughs> intermediate my mate andy wouldn't say that <laughs> boy mate i oh, know boy here he comes. Oh, he said, "Very nice," amazing. says Roy. That's mm. good. Oh, and that's good. Shines. And that's good coming from a winner. Roy is uh, a winner. For, yeah. for, from a number one position holder, he's a champion. Did he? Did he win? Did he put it in the uh, champion? Did he win it? Did he? Hmm? Did he put his in the club yeah, in the baby section and win it? No, he put it. Oh, I've got a fly my blue drink. Um, no, he put it in the advance oh, and come first. Oh, did oh, well he? Well done, Roy. Mm. I think he paid everybody two quid. To, to, All um, right. Was it? Was it? Was he standing at the door as people were coming in? I. Yeah, I think so. <laughs> and they make money. Yeah. <laughs> no, he did well. That was a very nice piece. Yeah, excellent. Very nice piece indeed. Wayne done well with that. I mean, uh, <laughs> I mean, uh, Roy did well with that. Is <laughs> uh, it bad to that? Yeah. Right. So let's bring you gentlemen back for a minute or two. Oh no. Da, 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 better, I better sit up and pay attention like I'm, da, 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 like I'm interested. So, thank you very much, gentlemen. Um, special guest next somebody month. Keeps, so next somebody week. keeps pressing the heart button again. That's Roy, because he loves me. Um, so, special guest next week. We have the one and only... I can never pronounce her surname. Cindy, Cindy Drozda. There you go. That's who we got next week. So, we have Cindy one and only. next Friday. Special guest warming over the years. And uh, looking forward to having Cindy on. Mm -hmm. See what she has to Wait, say. Are you, are you going to be brave enough to turn a finial next week, Steve? No. But Cindy's brilliant oh. at I'm not brave enough to turn a finial normally, let alone when I've got someone like that in there. Oh, on, Steve. No. She'll Go give me good, good advice. Let's have a vote in the chat. Should Steve turn a finial next week? You can, <laughs> you, you can vote if you want, finials. but I still ain't going to do it. <laughs> 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 <sighs> I think you should. I really do. I think you should. Good night, Mike. You, Mike, use off. See you later, Mike. Thanks for going over. So, don't forget, guys. I don't. I'm not sure when I'm going to close the um, the raffle yet. Um, it may not be until the night, to be honest. So, uh, we'll see what happens. But we'll see. We'll see. We'll see. We'll see. See. We'll see. We'll see. But um, hopefully, in the next few days. Um, I've put the link up for the auction. So if anybody wants to promote it, that would be absolutely amazing. Or shout about it. That would be amazing. Yep. Get it as much publicity as we can get it. Because obviously, after all, it is for a good cause. So It is. It is. British Art Foundation, for those who don't know. For those who have been asleep for the last week. Or well, there might be some new ones coming in that number. So you know, there has to, we have had a few new new names this evening. I Which think. is nice to see. Thank you very much for everybody who's new been over. Thank you very mm. much for that. Been uh, nice to see you all. Um, anybody who's about, who's going to the open day on Sunday, I will see you there with Terry. And Nick will be there. Ooh. So, uh, you know, she is the famous one of the couple of us. <laughs> yeah, so if you live in like your Lincolnshire, get your backside the, up here. The, the legend that is Nikki. Yeah, the legend of Nikki. You might not recognise her by face, but as soon as you hear that voice, oh, yep. <laughs> you'll, you'll shiver like I do. You can melt steel. <laughs> it depends on the tool. With it. Yeah. Oh, that's what I like the hair, Roy. I put it in advance, as Barry said I had to. That's what I like the hair, Roy. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, see if I will get the images, etc. To the state, yeah, that'd be great. Thank you very much, Rob. That'd be absolutely amazing. Thank you. Um, good, good, good. Is Nikki going to Harrogate? Yes, she is. 
Um, I don't know. I don't know if she's going to the show both days. I think she's going shopping one day. Um, oh, thank you very much, Jim. Thank you very much. I hope you come back again. Um, yeah, so Nick will be coming with me, but I don't think she's going to the show both days. I think she's going shopping one day. Uh, or she said she was going to walk around the town one day or go somewhere. I don't know. But um, Go and do something interesting, you mean? Yeah. Yeah. Mm. It's actually better, I think, that way, because if not, she, she just wants to sit down and drink coffee all day. That'd be good. Mm. And you don't like leaving her in the cafe? Oh, I do. I don't mind. No, you don't mind leaving her anywhere. <laughs> I don't mind leaving her anywhere. <laughs> Going back to pick her up, it's your trouble. Yeah. The abuse he gets when he gets back to find her. Yeah. In there all day. But no, I, I think she's going shopping on the side. I don't know if Ruth's going with her or whether Joe's going with her or whatever. I'm not I'm sure. Not, I haven't spoken to her about that. I'm not sure. They, so I leave it to sort out between them. It's nothing to do with me. Um, sure all I know is, them. all I know is, I'm going Saturday and Sunday. That's all I know. Me and too. I should be there all weekend, Thursday there night till Sunday afternoon. Friday, go. Saturday, and Sunday, I'll be there. Probably so, be leaving a bit lunch. It's just after good, lunch. Be a Sunday. good weekend. Yeah, I'm, I won't be there all day Sunday. I want to fall, but it'll be a good weekend, like it always is. Nice to meet people. Um, it's always nice to meet people who watch the channel and come over yeah, and say hello. Yeah, That's always nice. Fun. So yes, uh, always nice to meet the. I mean, because we all, we always see you guys in the chat. Yeah. It's, it's always nice to put a face to a name. Yeah, unless Andy. Where we're learning is going is not and, and and then and then forget the face for the time for the time we go again next year. That's my problem. I'm terrible with names. I do. So am I. Thing is, of course, though, if you see I'm us, you know us. Names, we don't know you, so come yeah. up and say hello. I don't yeah. know faces at are. all. Terrible. Hopefully yes, that's what, what I that's, what, that's what I was saying. And actually, I'd be good if everybody who's bought the makers T-shirt, if they wore their makers T-shirt on the Saturday, that'd be good. If we could all have a group right. photograph with the T-shirt. Why you got the Maker's T-shirt? Did I buy one? I think I did. We could have a group photograph and splash it all over Facebook. Steve Hale's going Friday, Saturday. Good man, Steve. See you there. Good man. See you Saturday, Steve. Yep. Uh, Lucy's doing the show on Saturday. Wurzel said maybe mm -hmm. next Boy, year. Saturday, people. Lucy Steve Hale, Saturday. Friday, Saturday. Rob says Stan 99. You'll be there all weekend. I did hear that Rob was doing free burgers and hot dogs. Is that right? It really? was, yeah, yeah. I it's Saturday it lunchtime. Well. I thought it was coffee. He, and says, tea. he said if it can't get it working properly, he'll take us all to the cafe and buy him for Oh, it. even no, better. Man. Even better. He's not a bad man. He's not a bad man. I'll tell you what, Rob, you buy me a, I'll tell you what, Rob, if I buy one of those free quid burgers and you, you buy, buy me a coffee, that would be great. <laughs> <laughs> Rob's not been before, has he? He doesn't know the price of the coffee. <laughs> you can guarantee the coffee will be more expensive than the three quid bar. Well, that's why I don't mind buying the three quid bar. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> I think I've got an insert, actually. When I bought the uh, cut burrs from Emma, I believe they came with an insert. Because these cut burrs, you have to have... Oh, no, these are only... <laughs> these inserts are only... These cut burrs are only 2.3 millimetres. See that? Right. So the cut burrs are only... So you must have got... 2.35 millimetres. So, um, can't see it, Steve. You can buy the collets. Oh, can't sorry. see it. You're not in the camera, Steve. So the inserts... The you can buy the collets, though. But, but the insert is 2.35 millimetres. So right. obviously they're smaller than what Rob's are, so... Mm. But I know you can get an insert for them, so... <sighs> Rob, for it, Rob's, not Rob for says, I'm going to have to spend the three days going... Hi, Rob. And I've no idea who you are. <laughs> That'd be good to meet you, Rob. You know me, Rob. You didn't even come in. <laughs> yeah. That'd be nice to meet you after all this time. Yeah, you'll you'll know Terry when you see him. I've taught you well, Steve. Don't mistake <laughs> me. And don't look down as if to say you're looking for a hobbit, because I am five foot nine. Just, uh, yeah, he's only about an inch and a half smaller than me. He'd be here, Rob. Oh, I'll you. five inches I'll smaller. You. You're about five foot nine and a quarter. Rob, this will where if when I... you see Rob when you see me coming, this will be where this will be where Terry is. Yeah. Well, that, that's just your <laughs> bloody joint. Yeah, a bit, a bit, a bit armpit level. <laughs> Lucy's going to bring me a bacon roll and cake. Look, lovely. Thank you, Lucy. I'll meet oh, you in the cap you. at twelve, love. Indeed, no, I'll be there too. Bacon roll and cake. Oh, I'd really? love to. Go, I'd love to go to one. You of can't them. miss Lucy, by the way, everybody. Well, you could, I suppose. You could step on her and not know she's there. She's sure. 
I must admit, Jim, I would ask one place, ask one place I would like to go to a wood show because their wood show seems to be absolutely out of this world compared to ours in America. Yeah, they are. Uh, Jim says, uh, if you ever come to the States, you'll be welcome here in Michigan. Michelle has relations in Michigan. Don't ask me where, because I don't know. The good thing is now, both, out, my, right? both my kids are old enough now to look after themselves, so the horizons are like o- the, the horizons are opening up a little bit. They're widening. <laughs> horizons are widening. Right, let's go then, shall we? Thank you very much, everybody. Let's go. Simple little bowl. Everybody. Hope you've enjoyed. You again. So Pretty I won't be. Either. Are you doing a live Sunday, Brian? Uh, I think I might. Brian might do we'll a live Sunday. Out. We'll pop out lunchtime when Steve's not there, and we'll do something. All right, there you go. So just to, uh, just to entertain you folks. Thank you very much. Come along. Yes, yeah. say, say put the video. You probably have Perfect. probably have William Learworm if you want to say it. I need to, I need to practice doing a goblet. How about that? I'll tell you what I do need. Anybody need to who wants to send me do, their right? pieces for their free wing bowls needs to send them out. Mm, or free wing I'm piece. Done. They need to get it over mm. to me today because uh, today I will I will get a video up before actually I'll put it, if you go in live I will put the video up just before your live Brian. Yeah, do, do that. I, I put it up sort of ten to one. I'll go on at one o'clock. Put it to put it to put it to start at one o'clock or whatever. At ten to one. If you send me the link for your video, Brian, I will put it in the tag and then that'll send people over straight away. All right, but I'll do that. I'll set it up. So anyway, guys, thank you very much for coming over. Hope you enjoyed. Thank you very much for coming and joining us in the chat and whatever else. <laughs> thanks to Brian. Thanks to Terry. Um, okay. Don't forget, I won't be here Sunday, but Brian's going to entertain you. Hashtag video will be up just before one o'clock. Um, so then it will go live at six o'clock. Um, Sunday night as well, so the whole world can see it. Um, Wayne will be on tomorrow night. Yeah, Wayne's tomorrow night. If his night. computer's working. If his computer's working. So, Terry may be live Sunday, depending on what time he gets back it, and what condition he gets yeah. back in. Depends um, on what I've got to do. So, uh, I'll put so, a link up anyway. And if I can make it, I'll put a link for a bit later, perhaps. So. And then Brian will be back Thursday night, Wayne Wednesday, That's Brian good. Thursday. Yeah. And then we will be back Friday with Cindy. So make sure you come over and, and join Doug, us. Doug Miller's on Tuesday night, everybody. All right, Doug's Doug on Miller's Tuesday Doug Miller's on night Tuesdays. Well. You want to see Doug? Papa will see him. Oh. Right, so yep. with that, uh, we're going to go. If I don't see you before, I will see you next Friday it's with Sunday. Cindy. Yeah. Yep. So um, have a great weekend. Speak to you soon. Take care. And good night. Say bye, guys. Good night, everybody. See bye you, everybody. folks. Bye. 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 I'm a little bit, that's all, folks.